This is step four for your peacock drawing. You are gonna need your art book and please have your um, marker paper, protects all the other pages from the markers um, underneath your peacock drawing. You will also need markers, um, but if you are missing a certain color that you'd like to use of marker, then you can also use crayons for this step. Um, so, I'm gonna have you choose four colors. Does not have to be realistic to the peacock. So I'm gonna make my peacock look real using the colors that I see in the feathers. So there's, you know, there's green, blue, kind of this orangish brown and black. That's what I'm gonna do, but you don't have to do that. If you wanna make it red, orange, blue and purple in the feathers, that's fine, your choice. The only thing is, is I want you to do the same thing with each feather, okay? Same design, you're gonna put the colors in the same spot throughout the whole feather. So I'm gonna start with black and I'm gonna try to make my peacock look real. So I'm gonna color in the black circles, kind of the lily pad shapes that I talked about before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of them. So taking your time, staying in the lines. You could do it this way where you go ahead and do each one. Um, each area with that same color or you could just do a whole feather at a time if you'd like. But this will make me kind of remember like, oh yeah, I'm doing these all the same. Using my same color scheme. So some of you did this shape, this lily pad shape inside your peacock feather, really teeny tiny. So um, be super careful with your marker and staying in that teeny tiny line. Okay. And now when I look at it, I'm gonna use my blue. Now, again, you don't have to do the same colors. You can branch out and do your own. So here's the next circle shape. I like to color in a circular motion when I'm doing something super small, like a super small area that helps me control control my movement and helps me stay in the lines a little bit better. So something I'd like you to try out too. Little tiny circles. Make sure that those areas are solid. You don't see any specks of white. Okay, now I'm going to use my orange, that's next. Be careful with your orange and mixing with the blue, especially around the edges because orange is so much lighter than blue. If you cross over with these kinds of markers, they, they can blend and mix a little bit.
Uh oh, my orange is running out. <laughs> that sometimes happens with our markers. <laughs> uh oh, I'm right back. Real quickly. want to stop the video. All right, I got extra oranges in case I need them. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, that's the one thing with markers is they like to dry out over time when you use them a lot. Always make sure you put these caps really tight back on the marker, makes them last a little longer. Okay. Alrighty, last one. I'm gonna use my green. Finish that feather. Okay, that is step four.